It's me, Mario. And it's me, Steven. And it's me, Mal. And together, we're Steven and Mal. M maybe, maybe you heard of us. Maybe that's why you're here. Today, we're starting a Super Mario 64 Let's Play, and what makes it so special is that you chose it. We had a, uh, a video poll last month, and we had several games to choose from. You guys overwhelmingly voted for Super Mario 64. And uh, the reason I think it's going to be special is not only because you voted for it, but also because Mao has played an astoundingly small amount of this game. Whereas a lot of people grew up playing Super Mario 64 because it is such an important part of gaming history, Mallory largely missed out. She's played it here and there, but she has not experienced this game. And I'm so excited, so excited <laughs> that we get to experience it together. It's going to be a fun time. Before we go too far, let me say a quick shout out and a huge thank you to all of our Patreon producers and everyone who supports us over at Patreon. Thank you so much. The names of the producers are scrolling along the bottom of the screen now. Um, if you are watching and you'd like to learn more about Patreon and how you can support Mal, myself, and projects like these, uh, then you can click on the card on screen now or the link in the description. It's great. There's perks. It's fun. Uh, Mario 64 is a game that is near and dear to my heart. Um, I grew up largely in the Super Nintendo era, and then moved into the N64 era uh, a little bit older. Yeah. And, because uh, N64 was like, you know, it wasn't my first system. I was I was ready for video gaming by that point, and <laughs> I loved, loved Super Mario 64. So, um, I'm really excited to share this with you, Mal. Good. I think it's going to be a fun time. The other thing that's going to make this unique is that, for one, Mal and I are playing together, but we are going to be switching off every star collected or every death collected. <laughs> Anytime Mario gets a star or dies, we're going to be handing the controller to the other person, uh, which is very different from the other single-player co-op LPs that we've done, because normally we would just switch off every episode. This time we're going to be switching off multiple times. During episodes. During the episodes. Uh -huh. And uh, you're going to know who is playing at all times based on which side of the screen is illuminated. So if my side of the screen is illuminated, you'll know that I'm playing. If Mal's side of the screen's illuminated, you'll know that she's currently playing. So you could even scrub through videos and you'll still know who is currently controlling Mario, and that's pretty neat. Now, Mal, you know that you can tug on, on Mario's... Uh, face? Face. Yeah, I knew I'm that. <laughs> really should have probably threw that, that word in before I just lingered. <laughs> you know you can tug on Mario's... Uh, What's that thing? What's that long thing that hangs off of his nose? Yeah, yeah, his nose. Uh, yeah, that's a thing you can do. I, this sort of thing was so dumb, but meant so much as a kid, and I don't know why. You can even make it... I don't know. How, wait, what do you... Stop moving, Mario. It's even a way to hold it or something. Is it L or R? Yeah, it's R. You can actually, like, hold it in place. Oh no, look what you've done. I've done terrible things he to this man. He is horrifying. Oh my god. You know, he actually kind of looks like baby Mario, because the mustache <laughs> is missing. I thought he kind of looked like Olimar. Yeah, actually he does! He does, but if, he, if it was Olimar, he's seen a lot more atrocities, so his mouth would be like this. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh my god, so many Pikmin are dying. Anyway, we're gonna jump in. Uh, Mario A! New! Did you know there's a plot? I figured. Hey Mario, please come to the castle. I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. I didn't Peach. know she talked in this game. Can now, IMO. Um, that was you, creepy. Well, you do a better Peach voice than that Peach voice. Can you do some of that? I I've already baked, forgot I've, what she said. Um, <laughs> dear Mario, I've baked a cake for you. Please come to the castle. Dear Mario, I've baked a cake for you. Please come to my castle. Love. Toadstool. Yeah. Okay. So you, you uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. I think that Mal's peach impression is spot on, and in some cases, especially like in this 1996 game, is better than what the voice actress did. Nintendo is it like her actual voice actress, or was it someone else? Well, that's the thing. This was probably the first time she ever spoke. You know. Yeah, that's true. Ciao. Which is that not the weirdest way to start? Yeah. You've reached Princess Toadstool's castle via a warp pipe. Using the controller is a piece of cake. Press A to jump, B to attack, uh, press B to read signs, too. Use the control stick in the center of the controller to move Mario around. Now head for the castle. So what I'm going to do is I am going to hand the controller over, over to Mallory, 
and I'm going to let Mallory start this off. Now, if Mallory dies, or if, or if she collects a star, um, I will be taking over at that point until I die or collect a star. And it's probably been a little while since you've played Mario 64, but you have played it. So you're familiar with the general concept. Uh, run, jump, punch. Crawl like a baby. Crawl like a baby. Um, everyone's going to be real curious on what we are playing this on, so I'll tell you now. This is being played on the Wii U, uh, just because it, it's going to look better coming from the Wii U than, you know, the N64 being upscaled. Good afternoon, the Lakitu brothers here reporting live from just outside the princess's castle. Mario has just arrived on the scene and will be filming the action live as he enters the castle and pursues the missing power stars. As seasoned cameramen, we'll be shooting from the recommended angle, but you can change the camera angle by pressing the C buttons. If we can't adjust the view any further, we'll buzz. To take a look at the surroundings, stop and press C up. Press A to resume play. Switch camera modes with the R button. Signs along the way. We'll review these instructions. For now, reporting live, this has been the Lakitu Brothers. I find that entire thing fascinating. Because the reason they did that is because you're playing this 3D world, and they felt like they needed to explain the concept of why you are watching Mario. And is that weird? Yeah. It's because it's such an early 3D game. The the really neat thing is that they stick to this because there's times in the game where you see mirrors and Lakitu is following behind you and mm -hmm. it's just such a cool idea. Um, very Nintendo way of approaching the problem, but it's really, truly unique. The, did the door open? What? See, like the door opens. Okay, so <laughs> the Wii U is emulating the N64 game. There might be some weird little things here and there. Welcome. No one's home. Now scram, and don't come back. Guahaha. And that's been this Let's Play with Steven and Matt. <laughs> Play Mario 64. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed it, and we look forward to bringing other games to you on this channel. <laughs> Mario goes back to his house and calls Princess Peach's cell phone. He's been like, uh, yeah, I was there, and they said no one was home, so I thought that was a little weird, so I left. Oh, you found one of the toads. You want to do toads voice? I'm glad to see you. The princess and I, and well, everybody, we're all trapped here. Bowser has stolen all of our stars, and he's using their power to make us do what he wants. And there's some sort of paintings and walls and stuff. <laughs> and if you get these power stars and you find them, you can use their power to open doors that Bowser has sealed. I don't know how I know this, but I do. And there's four rooms here on the first floor, and you should go in the one with the Man, bomb on painting. Really does have a lot. This is the to only say. room that you can't that you can get in, so um, I guess you really can't go anywhere else. I don't know why I bothered to tell you. And if you get eight, you know you can open the door with the big star. That's where the princess probably is. What's interesting is that he talks about how he's trapped in the castle walls, but he's not. You're he's, not in a wall. He's standing right there. Bowser is using his power to make paintings. That sounds pretty sweet. I'm not sure we should be stopping Bowser. He's creating entire worlds inside of paintings, and that sounds pretty boss. So I don't know why why we're trying to stop this art initiative. Mario is very anti-art. You and want me to keep reading signs? I mean... Triple jump, run fast, and jump, hop, skip. Yep, No, I know that. Long jump, press E, and then A. Well, yeah, we know this one, too. Okay, as long as you... under, I mean, I'll, and I'll help you along the way as well. You can return to the castle's main hall at any to exit point. Exit course. Yeah. You can you can always press start and just exit the course. You have to be. I think you have to be standing completely still. Like you can't be in the yeah. middle of a jump. But otherwise, yeah. Okay. Cool. But yeah, you will not be required, and you probably shouldn't uh, read all of the signs and signs. talk to all of the toads. All right. Course one. Bob on battlefield. Big bomb on the summit. You're smack in the middle of the battlefield. You'll find the power stars that Bowser stole inside the painting worlds. First, talk to the bob on buddy. Press B to talk. He'll certainly help you out, and so will his comrades in other areas. To read signs, stop, face them, and press B. Press A or B to scroll ahead. You can talk to some other characters by facing them and pressing B. You know what's interesting is that this dialogue has been in this game, and like, I don't ever read it. Because who reads it? They just hit the button as fast as they can, and, you know, get on with the game. Watch out! If you wander around here, you're liable to be plastered by a water bomb. Those enemy bob love to fight, and they're always finding ways to attack. 
This meadow has become a battlefield ever since the big bob got his paws on the battle... St the Power Star. Power Star. <laughs> Sorry, you were scrolling. Anyway, you cross the bridge. I'm not going to read all of the, the godforsaken dialogue in this game. I, ref I, I simply refuse. Um, so there's Goombas. You can punch them. Um, I was trying to punch him. You can punch them. Let's punch um, this one. Yeah, if you are running and you hit the attack button, you will do a dive. Um, which is fine, because that's a really great way to, you know, not lose momentum, or at least lose minimal momentum, and also continue to move forward. <laughs> you making new friends every day. Uh, the, uh, the health bar is a, like, a little pie chart with, uh, I think eight, eight pieces of pie. Every time you collect a coin, um, you will increase that pie slice by one. And uh, one of the interesting things is that the power meter and the the underwater breath meter are the same. Are the same. And uh, one of the quick, easy wa wow, one of the quick, easy ways of uh, of regaining your health is if you can if you're in a level that has water, you can just simply go under the surface of the water and come back up. And then your health's back. And it's like, oh, okay, so those aren't separate things? Oh, we're not doing that? Okay, cool. Um, other quick information. Uh, Mario has four lives. That should be pretty obvious. The coins, the number of stars collected. Uh, there are 120 stars in this game. They did re-release this game for the Nintendo DS, called Super Mario 64 DS, and added an additional 30 stars. It's also fairly interesting because you can uh, play as Luigi, Waluigi, and Yoshi in that game as well. Um, for just in t all intents and purposes so people know how much I've played of this game, I have 100%ed Super Mario 64, and I've also 100%ed Super Mario 64 DS. So I have played both titles completely, 100%ed them, got all the stars, and uh, learned all the things. So hopefully I'll be of some help to Mao as she makes her way through this game. I'm the big bob lord of all blasting matter, king of kabooms the world over. How dare you scale my mountain? By what right do you set foot on my imperial mountaintop? You may have eluded my guards, but you'll never escape my grasp. And you'll never take away my power star. I hereby challenge you, Mario. If you want the star I hold, you must prove yourself in battle. Can you- he's still talking. Can you pick me up from the back and hurl me to this royal turf? I think that you cannot. Alright. And, uh, this- I'm gonna be honest, this LP is going to be as hands-off as I can make it. Oh, I'm, God. <laughs> I am going to try and give Mao as few tips as, as I can muster, because I truly think that it'll be very entertaining to see someone playing Super Mario 64 for the first time. And I think that's something special. In 2018, there is someone that has not, you know, played through uh, a good portion of this game, and I think that's great. So it'll be fun to experience that together. I couldn't remember how to pick him up. <laughs> there are, I mean, there's basically two buttons, uh, jump and punch. And I was trying to outsmart the big bomb on, but is having some some difficulty. He's walking very slow. Oh. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Oh, you got him. Almost ran into that crown again. Yeah. Mallory has managed to throw the big bomb on twice. Will she be able to do it? Seems pretty, pretty likely she's doing all right. Oh, he's, she's got him again. She is walking him! She's walking him to the edge of the mountain, folks! She has thrown him off the mountain! Oh, he is doing a super jump, and he is pissy! Oh, he's decided he's, he's gonna take a little break over to the side. You must fight with honor! It is against the royal rules to throw the king out of the ring! You didn't tell me that rule! Um, what's what I'm curious about is that uh, I don't remember if that actually like, resets the entire fight. It might! If you go to throw him and this doesn't kill him. No, it did. Okay, good. Wha- What? Can it be that a pipsqueak like you has defused the bob -omb king? You might be fast enough to ground me, 
but you have to pick up the pace if you want to take King Bowser by the tail. Methinks my troops could learn a lesson from you. Here is your star, as I promised, Mario. If you want to see me again, select this star from the menu. For now, farewell. And then he exploded! <laughs> Little creepy! Hooray! Mallory? You yeah. did it. Thanks. Good job. Good job. All right. 13 coins. That's one star. Play now passes over to me. Save and continue. You've recovered one of the stolen power stars. Now you can open some of the sealed doors in the castle. Try the princess's room on the second floor and the room with the painting of Womp's Fortress on floor one. Bowser's troops are still gaining power, so you can't give up. Don't Save you us, dare Mario. stop play the, playing this game. Don't you dare put the controller down. Uh, okay, so the the big rule that I'm going to have in this Let's Play is that whenever either one of us are controlling it, uh -huh. we're allowed to do whatever we want. Okay. If you want to go back into the same painting and continue to go after uh, the stars in that world, that's fine. If you want to run across the rest of the place and go somewhere else, that's also okay. So there's a really interesting mission next here, and uh, I find I find it it's really cool. And I kind of want you to be the one to do it. So I'm actually going to leave. <laughs> okay. I'm actually going to leave, and I'm going to go to um, Womp's Fortress, which is over here. Now that we have one power star. <laughs> Reacting to the star power, the door slowly opens. Good job. So I am going to... Uh, whack my head here. Uh, the other thing you guys have probably been able to tell since we're, you know, 16 minutes into the LP and we have one star, this is not a speed run. And I totally understand that, um, you know, Super Mario 64 is a heavily speed run game. Some of you may not be able to watch this LP because we're not moving fast enough, and I totally understand. Um, but that is not going to be the pace of this game. I don't think that you show up at the, yeah, you don't show up until the second star of this level. You don't even know what I was doing there, do you? No. Ah. So there's there's going to be some some little instances like that where I may, you know, confuse you. But it's okay. Get up there, Mario. You useless plumber. Well, not even a plumber anymore. Mar I think Nintendo like officially changed um, his occupation, which is kind of sad, <laughs> but it's all right. Yeah, let me get over here. It is a little weird. Um, playing Mario 64 with the gamepad and not a yeah. N64 controller. But I gotta say, between this and the alternative, which was the Wii Classic controller, I went with this in a uh, in a heartbeat. Um, I really did not want to um, to play with the Classic controller. <laughs> I'm not, just not a huge fan of that controller. Come on, you missed. Mario. Get, get up on there. There's my man. You you do the voice of Womp. It makes me so mad. We build our houses, your castles, we pine for roads, and you still walk all over us. Do you ever say thank you? No. Well, we're not going to wipe your feet on me. You're not going to. I think I'll crush you just for fun. Do you have a problem with that? Just try to pound me, wimp. Ha. Yeah, that was great. Thanks, man. Please don't ask me to do that again. <laughs> I mean... What, what about when I kill him? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, he's getting stomped on. Hey, man. Hey, he's man. He's mad. He is mad because I'm killing him. <sighs> <laughs> no, Christian, again, I'm just a stepping stone after all. I won't gravel or grovel. Here you win. Take this with you. That's pretty good, though. That's pretty good wordplay. Good job. I like that. I won't gravel or grovel. All right. Now I have a star. Ho, Ooh. ho, ho. It's a, it's a diehard reference. Okay. Uh, chip off Womp's block. Save and continue. Okay. Now I'm going to give the controller over to you. You can go back into uh, Womp's Fortress, or if you want to run back over to bob -omb, uh, that's fine. It's real. Like, we are going for 100%, folks. We are going to get every stinking star, which... <laughs> Gonna be honest, is a little worrisome for some some of the later maps, uh, but I've done it before, so I know I can do it again. It's just gonna be it's gonna be a fun trial. Fun and, trial. And and what's what's gonna be great is that we can do it together. All right, now foot race with Koopa the Quick. 
Hey, Koopa. Hey, Mario. Is it true that you beat the big bob -omb? Cool. You must be strong and pretty fast. So how fast are you anyway? Fast enough to beat me? Koopa the Quick? I don't think so. Just try me. How about a race to the mountaintop where the big bob -omb was? What do you say? When I say go, let the race begin. Ready? Go! All right, now you've got to get back up to where the big bob -omb was. Oh, Mal decides to uh, head off the beaten path, go straight for the elevator. Nice little shortcut there. She's running past. Oh, my goodness, the Chain Chomp wants that booty. Can't get that booty. She's oh, going God. for the bridge, but she decides to take a quick poop on the <laughs> road. Going to leave that stink back there, trying to get into uh, Koopa's nostrils and also his mind. Crossing the gravel, turning around the gate, going into the pits of balls. That's a lot of balls. She's running up the path, and she's making really good time, but I know that Koopa's right behind her because he comes up that sand path, which is actually a much shorter way than Mario has to go. Jump that ball! Good job, Mario! Continue to head up the path. We're now at the 40-second mark, coming around the path. That is a uh, That's a spot where people can quickly fall and die. Mario's doing good, comes to a gap, clears the gap! We got another gap coming up, going for, uh, Mal opts for the bridge. Continues to run past. Oh, God, another one coming around the corner. She's doing great. She's doing great. Coming up on a minute. Uh, does not need the extra life because her health is still full. No sign of Koopa the Quick. She is making wonderful progress. Did not even take the teleport. One minute seven, folks. She has done it. She is running laps around that flagpole. She's so excited she might lose her mind and fall off the mountain. We still don't know where Koopa the Quick is. I, I, we don't even see him. Oh, he's starting. There he is. He's he's huffing and puffing. You probably you probably didn't even know about the shortcut. It was a shortcut. Huh. Whoa! You really are fast. Uh, human blur. Here you go. You've won it fair and square. The one in the mountain where you stand in the cave salt like and don't move. Yeah. Yeah, I know that. Oh, okay. I I thought he might yell at you for cheating though, so I decided to run. Um, does he? Maybe he does. Uh, I didn't even remember. He might. But first, Koopa the Quick. Good job. You've recovered three power stars. Now you can open any door with a three oh. on its star. <laughs> All right, you can come and go from the open courses as you please. The enemies ahead are even meaner, so be careful. All right, that means play is switched over to me. Uh, I'm going to go back in here partially because I don't actually remember what the third star of this level is. Shoot to the island in the sky. Oh, I like this one. You can do it. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm doing it. You do it. Because uh, I'll explain why I like this one when you get in the um, cannon. Okay. Uh, oh, I have to talk to you, I bet. Yeah. Hey, can you open this, please, before I punch you in the face? All right, so now these are open. Um, I think only in this world. But they should be open now, no matter what, which is good. Uh, but there are other cannons in other uh, levels. So, when I was young, like maybe third grade, I had a babysitter for like sometimes. Yeah. And I, she would bring over her N64 and like play this, and we would just kind of watch. Yeah. And she was letting us try this particular star. And she always was showing us like in the clouds where she aimed for it looked kind of like a cat face. Go up. That's like the tail. See, it's like a cat. Aim, aim for the cat face? Or the tail or something. Okay, because if we aim for the cat face, we ain't going to that island. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, I mean, that's the tree that yeah. I was going to try and grab you onto. You can do that. That's fine. That's um, just how I was taught as a seven-year-old. I don't know how hot... To be honest, it I don't actually know. It may have been from know. the other cannon. That yeah. might have been it. Yeah, I don't know. Um... I'm going to try this and see where we get. That too was far. was too far. I'm okay. Uh, where is the um, other? Oh, it's right here. Yeah. Okay, so that's... Oh, I'm in a good spot. I'm in a good spot. Let me just kind of walk over here. One thing about using the, uh, the Wii U gamepad over the N64 controller is that the dead zone of the control sticks is quite different. Yeah. Um... And that's a, a shame, but it's okay. It's not that bad. All right. Here we go. And boom. And this is the easy one. Yeah. Um, to get. And you can also get the stars out of order. Mm-hmm. I know that. Okay. Just making sure. Because there's a few stars that are just kind of around, and you can get them if you're truly interested. Shoot to the island in the sky. Woo! 
And that is actually the end of the first episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next episode, uh, since I was the last one to play, Mal will be starting us off. And Mal, where do you think you're going to go? I'm not sure. Um, because I think... I think the fourth level in every single world is always collect the eight red coins. Yeah. So if you want to collect the eight red coins, you can do that. If you're not into that, because it is kind of a treasure hunt, um, then you can go to one of the other paintings. Uh-huh. It's, it's up to you. Oh, my gosh. The we'll world, have to see the what world, I do. world of Mario 64 is your oyster. As long as you have enough stars to get in the doors. Yes. It's, a, it's an oyster in which you have to pay... A toll. A toll. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this first episode of Mario 64, and we'll see you guys again soon for the next episode of Super Mario 64.